radar right now. Carson. Yes, and again, Casey, this is just a forecast. This can certainly change as we move through the winter months, but uh, just one thing to note, meteorological winter starts December 1st, and NOAA released their forecast today, and it does indicate that we will see below normal precipitation for most of East Texas. You can see that on the screen right here. East Texas is highlighted in this orange, so we are trending to below normal precipitation. Now, what about our temperatures? Similar situation, kind of like last year. We were dealing with those temperatures that were a little above normal until February hit. And of course, that all changed, right? We saw record low temperatures. And as you can see, this is indicated in all East Texas. So we are continuing to trend to those warmer than normal temperatures. And we will certainly take that, especially after what happened last year. Now, here are the winter averages. This is what it all means. Means. Tyler, Longview, and Lufkin. We typically range from about 49.3 degrees at the East Texas Regional Airport up to about 50.5 in Lufkin there. We should trend a hair above that, so instead of seeing those 49s and 50s, we might see 50 to 51 degree mean averages, which is just the average temperature over those three months through February 28th. From, similarly, from a rainfall standpoint, we are going to see, you know, anywhere from perhaps 10 to 11 inches of rain. That's at least what NOAA has in the forecast. And in summary of all this, I still expect that we will have above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. Unfortunately, there's a negative side to that. The drought monitor, it came through today, and unfortunately, the drought is only continuing to increase in coverage across East Texas. But again, Kind of like last year, we had a similar forecast. A winter storm or two certainly cannot be ruled out. Now, let's go ahead and